welcome back guys okay so if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button and if you can support me on patreon that'll be awesome the link is in the description but if you can't support me on patreon that's fine just uh, let those ads play okay so let's continue with our tutorial so so far we have a groups section here where we have our very own group here now if we do click on this group uh, it takes us to a profile because remember that um, groups are in the same table as users so this is good because we are leveraging a system that we already have so this is why we did it this way so all we need to do is reference a different file so here <coughs> excuse me if i go back to my text editor here and go to group.php that's what i'm looking for ah no not not that one actually uh actually yeah this is what i am looking for okay so group.php and instead of it referencing we'll leave this section here though we will change this very soon but what we want is to reference uh, a different link so first of all the the online time here is irrelevant so we can happily delete this and we will need to delete that as well okay first name last name is unnecessary because uh, we don't use that at all mm -hmm. let's leave that image over there but this is the important part here so here we will have um instead of a profile well, let's have a group like that mm -hmm. okay so this will present a little bit of a problem but we'll fix that very soon so here we have the user id of the group that we are going to open so now instead of because if we click this it's going to open this very file over and over again then we will have an infinite loop of redirects so we definitely do not want that so what we will do is rename this group to single group or something similar because this is representing one item just like a single post or or you can call this one uh, group dot include because this is the naming convention that others use where when you are going to include a file you just type dot inc dot php something like this so let's rename it to that so once you choose this system it's a good idea to have all the included files renamed to inc dot php that way you know they are part of the include section now the reason I renamed this is because I want to use group.php to actually represent the group page. So <clears throat> now that we have this, we will have problems when trying to read from here. So which means we have to change exactly. So it's in profile content groups where we have a problem. And so let's go there, content, uh, profile content groups and we just need to put the dot inc there and we will be back to square one so there we go uh -huh. okay so only difference now here is if i do click here the page will not be found because the group page does not exist so let's create that group page now we're going to be inspired by the profile page so what i will do is just go to profile.php and just say uh, open containing folder and i'm going to copy and paste then i will rename this to group and open it of course so now if we do refresh we have this but it's not the profile page this is the group page 
So let's make it look more like a group page. For example, we don't need to follow a group page. We don't need uh, messages for a group page. So let's dive in and edit those. 